Hello, welcome to part two of the Blu-ray collection video. Um, so, uh, in this part we're going to go through the steelbooks, but before we do, at the top, um, I've got the Bond 50 uh, Blu-ray set, which has got from Doctor No to Skyfall, if in case you're counting how many Blu-rays there are. Um, and the Dark Knights Collector's Edition Trilogy, which has obviously got the free films, um, plus some extra stuff. I, I didn't want to get them down, because they're a bit of a nightmare to put back up. I very rarely watch any of them, especially the Dark Knight Trilogy, because I have them in so many different forms. The Bond Trilogy, only when I want to watch Bond movies. That one's a bit easier to get down, but I just thought if I got that one down, I'm going to have to get the other one down as well. And It's a whole thing. But they're up there. If you do want to see videos on those though, let me know. I will do videos on them. But for now, let's get into the steelbooks. Alright, so steelbooks. Um, I'm going to try to, to waffle less in this part to try and get through this a bit quicker. Um, but starting up, uh, I'll get these through together actually. We've got the Dark Knight Trilogy. So we have the Batman Begins UK release steelbook. This was, I want to say Play.com exclusive maybe. Um, I did openings, I don't know why, because I already owned these movies, but there you go. Um, the Dark Knight. I really love that Heath Ledger back. Art. I think it's because I, I, because this was a HMV exclusive of the Dark Knight Rises. I think the reason I opened them was because this one was already opened. Um, and then I'd later go on to have this as a regular Blu ray as well, anyway. Um, Man of Steel. Batman vs. Superman. This is a really cool one. It's a HMV exclusive. And. It's got a Superman and Batman artwork. Suicide Squad, not a good movie, but I do have a signed Jared Leto Joker playing card. With that one, which is cool. Um, Justice League, not a good movie, but I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, and it says you can't save the world alone on the back. Wonder Woman, the best. DCEU film in my opinion. Um, the reason I've got them in this order by the way is because the, the, the timeline's such uh, because it's such a mess. Um, because the timeline's such a mess I basically put these films together um, Man of Steel Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad and Justice League um, and then I put the, the better movies like Wonder Woman and Aquaman together. This one I haven't opened because it looked like it was going to be valuable so I kept it sealed. It's a 4K Blu-ray sticker book as well which basically meant it cost me an arm and a leg. Um, yeah uh, and then Joker is in the regular collection although if they make more movies like Joker, I'm going to make a separate, like, standalone DC section. Um, next, we've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, we've got the Uber Rare Play.com exclusive Iron Man. Still factory sealed, that one. The HMV exclusive 4. It's got really nice back artwork. Um, the HMV exclusive Captain America the First Avenger. The HMV exclusive Avengers Assemble. The Zavi exclusive Iron Man 3 Lenticular Steelbook. The Zavi exclusive For the Dark World Lenticular Steelbook. Now this one, the, the um, factory seal cellophane started to peel, so I put it in a protective sleeve as well, um, which I do do with some of them. Um, Captain America the Winter Soldier, still factory sealed, uh, Lenticular Zavi exclusive, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, 
Volume 1. This is the original Zavi exclusive one to look like the Walkman. Um, I got it second hand, which is why it's open. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron Zavi exclusive. They're mostly Zavi exclusives. Um, Ant Man is a Zavi exclusive. This has got a, a horrible. You can hear it, a horrible noise, which is probably a good thing that I'm ne never going to open it because it sounds like a disc growl. Um, but hey ho. Uh, Zavi exclusive Captain America Civil War. This. Oh, this isn't a protective save because it started to peel. Um, Zavi exclusive Doctor Strange. This is one of my favourites. I love that artwork. Uh, Zavi exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Zavi exclusive uh, Spider Man Homecoming with Magnetic Spider, which is why it's got this big plastic clamshell on it. Um, that's very cool, that one. I wish I had the HMV one though, because the HMV one matches the Far From Home steelbook I got. Um, the Zavi exclusive for Ragnarok steelbook. Zavi exclusive Black Panther. Zavi exclusive Avengers Infinity War. Zavi exclusive Ant Man and the Wasp. Zavi exclusive Captain Marvel. Zavi exclusive Avengers Endgame. Uh, HMV exclusive Far From Home, Spider Man Far From Home. This is one of my favourites. Uh, actually, I really love that artwork, and that's why I wish I got the um, HMV exclusive of Spider Man Homecoming because the artwork would have matched. Um, the Zavi exclusive Daredevil Complete First Season. Zavi exclusive Daredevil Complete Second Season. I think I don't have the third season. Um, if, I'm not even sure if they released it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I think that was HMV exclusive. I know this one was um, Amazing Spider-Man 2. The front artwork's not great, but the back artwork's really cool. Um, Zavi, oh no, this wasn't a Zavi exclusive. You can get these steelbooks pretty much anywhere. But um, Dog 2 Series 1, that's my rarest and most expensive steelbook. 270 quid this one, 260 quid, something like that. Um, then Doctor Who Series 2 um, so yeah this I need to put in a protective sleeve this is in a protective sleeve because it started to peel and this is like 70 80 quid so um, and this one needs to go in a sleeve as well Doctor Who Power of the Daleks so that's the first two shelves um, I'm going to cut put these back and we'll get the next two shelves out alright so as you would have noticed um, I am missing some Marvel and DC steelbooks. Obviously not by choice, just because steelbooks are so expensive and it's hard to keep up. Um, so I'm missing Iron Man 2 and The Incredible Hulk. Once I get those, I have a complete um, MCU Blu-ray collection. Uh, Blu-ray steelbook collection, that is. Um, and I'm missing um, Shazam, which didn't sell out and didn't go up in value it didn't become rare so that's relatively easy um, and I'm missing uh, oh I'm uh, missing um so I'm missing Shazam and I'm missing yeah I'm missing Shazam How, Birds of Prey hasn't come out yet is that it? am I just missing Shazam? yeah I think so I think I'm just missing Shazam and then Birds of Prey when it comes out. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't think of any other DCEU steelbooks. Um, so, finishing up on the Doctor Who steelbooks. These are somehow in the wrong order. Uh, we got Series 3. Uh, which I'm keeping sealed obviously. This was the most expensive steelbook I ever brought because I missed out on it. Um, I paid 55 quid for it, which is a good price actually. Um, then the specials. And then another more recent one I got, Series 5. Um, and then Series 9, which I have opened because I got it second hand. 
Um, so if we take a look at it, these steel books are so beautiful. They're the most beautiful steel books ever. I love them. Um, so that's uh, series nine and series ten. The same thing. Um, I believe I've got it second hand, which is why it's open. Either that or I just decided to open it for whatever reason. Probably because I really, really liked this uh, series. And it came with some lenticular cards as well. Um, so you might wonder why I don't put these in protective sleeves. It's mainly because of the J cards. That's why I want to get the um, plastic uh, boxes for them. Um, series 11. I opened because it just basically didn't sell out and it didn't go rare. Um, it's a less exciting steel book. I don't think it's a bad steel book. It just doesn't go with the rest of them. Um, although I, this is cool. I wish they had this for the others because the previous releases have just been st stacked onto the things you'd have to take off discs to get to other discs. But this is this is really nice. Um, and that also came with some art cards um, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to open this one or not yet but it goes with the artwork of the other ones which is good I hope I kind of hope they redo this one with this uh, style of artwork so that's the the Doctor Who uh, Blu-rays steelbooks um, so now the rest is just sort of um, uh, all the others. So it's all in alphabetical order. So we've got, well, they are meant to be in alphabetical order, but they're somehow not. Um, they're somehow, I've, I don't know how I've done this. Um, 2012, quite a common steel book. I got this in like a, I got this in a charity shop, I think, uh, for like a pound. Um, a Star is Born. I haven't opened this because for some reason this sold out and was a bit desirable. Really annoying because I really like this movie. I'd like to watch it. But there we go. Uh, American Psycho. I opened this because it didn't sell out. And then not long after I opened it, it started becoming a bit more desirable. Um, oh well. That's the, the, the risk you take with... Um, with Steelbooks, uh, Anchorman, and Anchorman to the Legend continues. Um, I do enjoy those movies. Uh, this is so interesting. I don't know why. I don't know why these are in a weird order. So, Baby Driver. Uh, I haven't opened this one. This one's a, a rare, rarer one, which again is annoying. I really like this movie. I wanted to watch it, but there you go. Uh, Back to the Future trilogy, um, part one, part two, and part three. Uh, I never opened any of these because I have the the box set, so I don't need to. Um, and then we've got. Blade Runner. I haven't opened this one yet. This is the final cut of Blade Runner. Um, I'm not sure if that's rare or not. Some of these I'm not sure if they, they're they rare. I just haven't opened them. Um, and The Bourne Legacy. I've got a tendency just not to open steelbooks when I get them anyway. So um, that's why I've got so many one, so many that's sealed. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, this looks like it's all in the right order. I think. Yeah. Weird. Alright, Captain Phillips, I still haven't seen this movie at all, and I've opened it, which is strange, um, but yeah, haven't seen it. Uh, the Conjuring I have seen, this I shouldn't have opened, this still looks bizarrely rare, um, and I opened it like a fool. This I haven't opened, um, Child's Play, the original. Love that movie, and I haven't opened it because I've got it on Blu-ray in a regular Blu-ray. Uh, Evil Dead Two. For some reason, I don't have the the other original Evil Dead movies. Um, 
E.T. Elysium. Right, hang on. A, B, C, D. Yeah, D, E. What is going on here? Right, sorry about this. I've got these in... For some reason, they're not an alphabetical order. Uh, Cowboys, Aliens, um, and Kerry. This is a metal pack. Uh, I don't know how this has happened. Right, Kerry. C A. That goes there. Cowboys and Aliens. Goes. There. Yeah, and then Despicable Me too. I don't have the other ones of Steelbook. I don't even know if they got Steelbook releases. Um, and obviously uh, Elysium, E.T. Evil Dead, which is now in order. I'm just going to look at these like this. Yeah, somehow this is in. A really strange order. Uh, so E, that's where we're at. I don't know how I manage this, but here we go. E, uh, I've got the remake Evil Dead Steelbook, um, which should go there. Uh, and Expendables 1. Uh, no, Expendables 1 and Expendables 2. And then Filth. Final Destination 5. Are these in the right order? I believe so. Ghostbusters. That's got a cool back cover, actually. Uh, Gladiator. This is one of those steel books where the information's printed on the back. Don't like these ones. I don't know why they did it like that. Goldeneye. My favourite Bond movie. It's got a debossed title um, and that's the back the green hornets that was an alright movie green lantern terrible DC movie and green zone with Matt Damon um, I haven't seen this actually either uh, it's one of those ones with the info printed on the back it's a Born goes epic. Uh, right, not sure. Sorry about the like mishap of them not being organised properly. Um, I'll make sure I don't do that with the next rows. So let's keep going. The Great Gatsby. Um, the original Halloween. I want to get the um, the newer uh, Halloween as well. Um, Highlander, and here's Joker. Really like that artwork. Um, Kickass. This was at one point a really rare steelbook. Um, it's one of the printed info ones. Um, in case you wondered where La La Land was in my Emma Stone collection, I have the steelbook. Obviously, um, I do want to get the regular version. I regret opening this though, uh, but I really love La La Land, that's why I opened it. Um, again though, this is really nice artwork on this still book. Looks very old Hollywood. Um, Legend. Tom Hardy plays the Creed Winds in that one. Machete. Um, it's got an 
nun looking a gun on the back. Um, Machete Kills. I've never actually watched Machete, and I haven't watched Machete Kills either, which is why it's not open. Um, Mad Max Fury Road and Mad Max Fury Road Black Chrome Edition. Um, this is quite rare, I think. Um, I have to check some of the rarity on these. Um, Matrix. Men in Black 3. Non-stop. Still haven't seen this one. Uh, Pacific Rim 3D. I really like that one. I'm not a big fan of the second one. Um, the Prestige. Love The Prestige. Um, it's one of my favourite Christopher Nolan movies. You might wonder why I didn't have that. Uh, like have a separate Nolan se uh, section in my steelbooks. And it's mainly because it would be this and the Dark Knight trilogy. So I don't really think it, it warrants it at the moment. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean on the Stranger Tides. Not a very good steelbook, that one. Planet of the Apes. This is a really nice steelbook. Sorry, I've got a really itchy hand. Uh, Psycho. Haven't opened this one. This one's quite rare, I think. It's got an embossed plug uh, hole there for the buff. Um, very nice. Purge. And Purge Anarchy. Some of these are uh, just, you know, really run-of-the-mill still books, like these ones, um, Resident Evil Afterlife, and Resident Evil Retribution, and Robin Hood, that's printed info on the back, I really don't like the printed info one. This one's not rare at all, I just haven't watched it, which is why it's sealed, and um, it's the remake of Robocop. Uh, Salt, this was a decent movie, Evangelina Jolie. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. At one point, this steel book was really rare, uh, and now it's not. Um, Shaun of the Dead, which is a, a steel book that you hold like that. It's part of a Universal collection. Um, a romantic comedy with zombies. Nice steel book, that one. Um, Shawshank Redemption. I mean, if you don't have the Shawshank Redemption in your collection, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes, The Game of Shadows. I love the Robert Downey Jr. And Sherlock Holmes films. Um, Skyfall. This again at one point was a really rare steel book, and now it's not, which is why I bought it. This Star Trek was at one point a one hundred pound steel book pre-owned, and now it's not worth anything. Um, it's worth a fiver, which is what I paid for it. Uh, just just shows you how the market goes, really. Um, an embossed logo on this one, Star Trek Into Darkness. There were several different versions of this steelbook. Um, I got just the regular Blu-ray one. Um, Star Trek Beyond, this is quite a rare one, which is why I've kept it sealed. Um, same with this, Rogue One, anything Star Wars holds its value, so I tried to keep it sealed. I didn't keep this one sealed though. This is Force Awakens. Um, and I didn't keep this one sealed either. This is The Last Jedi. But I did keep this one sealed. The Rise of Skywalker. This has got really nice artwork and I really want to open it, but I don't need to. <laughs> and it's 55 quid at the moment. Um, and Sweeney Todd. With printed info on the back. We're getting there, we're getting there, there's not many left of the steel books, so let's keep going. Okay, so this is the last two shelves, and as a bonus, because they are in the cabinet now, um, I have these Definitive Edition DVD steel books. Um, I've got The Day After Tomorrow. These are quite cool releases. Um, I am missing a few, but uh, they're like loaded with special features. Um, so these are really cool. Uh, it says the day after tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, 
um, X-Men. Um, I also have a sealed copy of X-Men, which I might sell or it might become a prize down the line. I don't know. Um, it just felt right to pick up two at the time. And iRobots. So those are really, uh, really cool releases. Um, right, so the remaining Blu-ray steelbooks, we've got Ted uh, and Ted 2. And there's the backs of those ones. Terminator, Judgment Day, 3D. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Top Gun. They recently just put out a 4K Top Gun steelbook actually as well. Uh, Total Recall. Another remake. Wanted. Another printed info one. The Wolverine. X Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, X Men First Class. This is part of a, a set. Um, I can't remember if they did them all, but I, I got those ones. Um, and X Men Days of Future Past. And then, Disney Steelbooks, we've got Brave. I got this one for free, actually. Um, never seen Brave as well, um, but the Steelbook's quite rare, so I've left it sealed. Uh, cars 2, I don't have the other cars. Um, again, I got this one for free as well. Um, it was part of the Disney Rewards program, which I don't think they do anymore. Um, the Jungle Book, Diamond Edition Steelbook. The Little Mermaid Diamond Edition Steelbook. Um, I am going to get the regular Diamond Editions of those films as well with the slip covers. Um, Monsters Inc. Monsters University. The Nightmare Before Christmas. And up. Uh, so as you will have seen, there's some films only in, in more than one type of Blu-ray, um, but it tends to be for specific reasons. Like Disney, I'll own, I'll own anything Disney multiple times because they they hold value. They're they're good to buy. Um, and the remaining three are steel packs. They're usually called. Um, and I got this one of the Dark Knight in Batman Begins, which came out the year that. Um, it was the year that Dark Knight Rises came out, I believe, or the year before. Um, and it includes the Blu-ray and DVD of Batman Begins. Um, the two-disc Blu-ray of The Dark Knight. As well as the DVD disc for The Dark Knight as well. Um, so obviously, as you can see, I own... Many, many, many copies of uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, I've got the Hobbits, an unexpected journey, extended edition steel pack. Um, the Hobbits, Desolation of Smaug, extended edition steel pack. I am missing the Battle of Five Armies, which is annoying because it's actually quite rare now. Um, these haven't held their value, but for some reason the third one has. And the third one was the worst one in my opinion. But there you go. So that's part two. I hope you liked part two. Uh, come back Thursday for part three. Where we're going to smash out the rest of the Blu-rays. And then if someone managed to count them all up, I applaud you. Because I know there's, a, there's about 400, but there's probably more. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And see you Thursday.